Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Soul Worker. Before we actually get into the video, this is a sponsored video. I got approached to see if I want to make some videos for this game. And after first glance, I was like, yes, this looks amazing. And after playing it for a couple of hours, I am hooked. This game is actually really awesome. And it's a shame because if I never got that email, I would have probably never known about this game. And I'm glad I got that email because this game is addictive and it's really, really fun. So what is Soul Worker? Soul Worker is a anime action MMO. You play as four characters, it looks like there's going to be two more at a later date, but we'll get into the characters a little bit later on. Basically, you're fighting through over a hundred post-apocalyptic dungeons in either solo or co-op mode, taking out monsters because you are basically become a soul worker, someone who can actually defeat these monsters and you can basically work and save the planet. And the combat is actually really fast paced. I thought it would be a bit hard for me at first because I'm playing on PC and I'm not the greatest with keyboard and mouse, but it was the tutorial was really simple and it was really nice to play through. And I learned the basics really quickly, which is great. And throughout your journey, you'll pick up some quests, and you can pick up some side quests as well, just like any MMO. You know, it's basically quest heavy. Do a bunch of quests for people, get rid of the rewards, and you just basically get stronger and stronger. The character customization for your, the characters you can choose isn't the greatest. There's a, there's a few limited options you can do, but throughout the actual main core of the game, you can pick up new outfits and armor, and your character looks even better. And um, at level 20 you can make a guild, so once I'm level 20 I'm going to be making a guild. So if you guys want to play this game, also there's a link in the description down below. This game is free to play by the way, free to play, you can put it on Steam or you can just download the client. It's awesome, I love that about this game. But once I'm level 20 you guys can join my guild. We're probably going to be, I don't know, heroes or something like that once uh, I can get level 20 and build my guild. I don't know what the uh, name's going to be just yet. But let's get into the characters because the characters are really awesome in this game. So first of all we've got Haru. This girl with a giant sword, who uh, it looks pretty cool. The combat for her seems quite easy. The difficulty with the stars tells you how difficult each character is to play. She seems uh, she seems pretty awesome. We got Erwin Arclight, the guy with the guns. He's got two guns. He can get like a big assault rifle, big sniper. Pretty awesome. We got Best Girl, who I actually chose because uh, why would you not pick Lily? I think she looks the best. She's got a scythe and a demon comes out. She's she's pretty awesome. And then lastly, you have Stella, the little girl with the guitar, who seems very adorable. Uh, from playing online, it seems like the two most favorite characters are Lily and Stella, which I don't blame people because Lily is best girl and Stella's just adorable, so it makes sense people will uh, choose those characters. Getting into the combat, it's actually fairly simple to control. It's basically left click as attack, you've got 1, 2, and 3 for skills, you can unlock more later on, shift to dodge, and basically space to jump. It's, it's really easy and you don't have much hand movement, which is great. It is very fast paced, there's many, many enemies attacking you at once. It starts off quite easy to kind of ease you into it, and then later in the game there's so many enemies, it makes you feel kind of overwhelmed, but once you're just using your skills and just everything's flying in the air and you're just destroying everyone, it just feels so satisfying. Like most games like this, this game is very repetitive, like going through each like an area, taking out enemies, picking up your quests and doing it rinse and repeat. But it's all about the grind really. If you like, like that sort of thing, then this game is a perfect fit for you because it's very repetitive, very grindy, but it's very addicting at the same time. The gameplay is very, very fun. And one thing I have to mention as well, because I find it adorable, every time I finish a mission, this little doggy comes up to me and just like, he just looks at me and does a little trick. It's so adorable. I love this little doggy. He is mine. You guys can't have him by the way. He is mine. Lastly, I have to mention the music in this game is fantastic. The moment you boot up the game, you're greeted by this like, just really relaxing, beautiful piece of music. I'm a sucker for piano music, I've said this before. And the moment I loaded the game up, I was like, this is nice. I just sat on the loading screen for like five minutes listening to the music. I wish it was longer, because it's only about like a minute or so long and then it repeats itself. I wish it was like a full, long, you know, five, six minute piece, but it's just very beautiful and I love that piece of music, I really do. But I'm pretty sure this covers the basics of Soul Worker. We'll be having a gameplay on the channel later on. A little bit longer and I'll show you guys more gameplay, a bit of live commentary, all that good stuff. If you guys want to play Soul Worker, as always, a link in the description down below. It's free to play. You can download it through Steam or the client. It's a really fun game and it's free to play. I hope you guys enjoy this. It's not often I do sponsored work. I only do stuff I really, truly, actually like or believe in. And this is a game I, I'm actually playing still now. I really, really enjoy this. So hopefully you guys play along and I'll see you guys in Soul Worker. Peace.